believe she's taken the appropriate course of action. Uh, as you know, there are very serious investigations going on to, you know, into ser uh, equally serious matters, uh, both by IBAC and Victoria Police. I don't propose to run a commentary or in any way cut across that important work. That needs to be done without fear or favour, at arm's length from the government, and I'm simply not going to comment uh, on matters that could jeopardise that process being run properly. Uh, she has resigned. Robin Scott resigned yesterday. They've both issued statements. I'd refer you to those statements, and uh, I believe they've both made the appropriate decision. Did you ask her to go? No, she made her own decision, and uh, I would refer you to the statement that she's issued. Did you have a conversation with her? Well, I, haven't, I haven't spoken with her today. Are you disappointed with her? After they both gave you assurances yesterday morning, there was nothing to see here. No, no, Rich, what I would do is I'd refer you to the statements where they both make commentary about uh, the way they have behaved uh, and their view of the way they've behaved and, and, the, and the fact that they look forward to the investigative process dealing, dealing with these matters, and just as I do. Uh, these are very serious issues and they need to be treated seriously and they have been by me and my team and Victoria Police and IBAC, I'm certain, will look at these matters thoroughly. Why did she resign today, not yesterday? Well, again... She's issued a statement, and uh, the timing of her statement, the content of her statement, is entirely a matter for her. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, interpreting that for you, nor am I going to be pretending to be a spokesperson for her. What I'm, what I'm doing is I'm referring you to the statement that she has issued. Do you Sounds think like that... you're really trying to distance yourself. Like, why not do... Well, Simon, how it sounds, that's a, again, that's a matter for you. Uh, what I'm saying to you is, just as a matter of fact, uh, these are serious issues. They are being investigated uh, by IBAC, by Victoria Police. I simply will not cut across that process. I have faith in that process and I'm committed to that process. Uh, ministers have made uh, decisions, they have issued statements, those statements speak to why they made those decisions and uh, I'll leave it to others to uh, interpret that as they see fit. How embarrassing is it for the Well, it's not, that's, not, that's not the issue for me. The issue for me is have people done the appropriate thing and I believe they have. But you're not embarrassed by this fact that Simon, I think I've, I think I've answered. Of I think, Simon, uh, I am uh, focused uh, on doing our job, and uh, those sorts of issues are not a concern to me. What is of a concern, though, is that we uh, have uh, these matters appropriately investigated and dealt with, uh, and that uh, we get on and do the important work that we have to do. That work includes uh, the national executive of our party. Uh, facilitating a restructure of our party, some substantial and meaningful reform, so that we can deal with the very serious issues that the party uh, confronts. Do you think she's completely fooled you and lied to you? No. I asked you multiple times yesterday what she said to you, as did the rest of the press gallery, and you said she assured me, she promised me she did nothing wrong. Clearly she has. So how was that Well, Samaya, with the greatest of respect, it's not for you or me to determine whether she's done... Well, right said, or wrong, she, she has no, no, no. That, that is the complete no, no. That, of what has been revealed today. So, do you think she's well? Lied to but you? again, if I can just be as, as respectful as possible, I'm not here to have an argument with you in any way. But it's not for me or for anyone here to determine those matters. Those matters are appropriately the subject of referrals to IBAC and to Victoria Police, and it's for them to determine those issues. Uh, I, I faithfully reported to you uh, the comment, uh, the answer to the question that I was given by. Both those ministers, they have reflected upon their position, they have resigned, they have issued statements, and I would refer you to those statements. Do you feel let down by her? Uh, look, I'm not going to be a commentator on these things. You can make your own judgments about the statement, about these, uh, these uh, issues. Uh, I'd much rather be focused uh, exclusively on working hard for the people of Victoria, and I look forward to, to getting on and doing the things that we need to do. We talk to respect and, and there And there is, uh, with these decisions that have been taken, uh, that's exactly what we'll do. With all due respect, though, um, the only way you can actually... You had three ministers, or at least two ministers, who were involved deep in brand stacking, not working for the Victorian community. So how can the rest... How can Those Victoria three ministers are gone. Exactly. But they that's right. Been in Those cabinet. three ministers are they gone. They had been in Cabinet for at least the last six years, some Europe, obviously, with a period out of the Cabinet. Um, how, how do we know that there aren't other ministers also involved in this industrial scale well, of stacking? Well, again, again, Samaya, well, you've got a series of issues that have been put forward 
they have all of them in their totality uh, been referred to IBAC and Victoria Police and that investigation will go wherever it goes. That's at arm's length from the Victorian government and it will, it will, they will do their work and it will, uh, it, it will, uh, it will travel wherever it travels. The, this, the notion that this is uh, something that the government is doing or something that is you know, proximate to the government or uh, an internal review, I, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging that. This is an external process run by organisations that have the power uh, and the, the will to do it properly and they will and we'll wait and see what the outcomes of that are. So is the clear difference in why Adam Sondering you sacked him yesterday because of his language uh, as opposed to the branch statement, which now two ministers have resigned on? Well, again, I'd refer you to the statements that the two ministers have issued, and I don't think it's very difficult to see uh, it's very clear differences in the conduct of Adam Somirek and others. Uh, it is in some respects unique. Is the clear difference, though, and the motivating factor for you sacking Adam Somirek, as opposed to not trying to sack the other two ministers, his language? Well, they, made, they have made commitments about the fact that they have behaved appropriately. They've issued statements, and I'd refer you to those statements, uh, where, they, uh, where they remain of the view that they have behaved appropriately and are confident that they will be uh, exonerated through that, ex that investigative process. Uh, the, two th the two things are not the same. And uh, on that basis, I think a comparison between the action I took against uh, Mr Somirek and the decisions that those two ministers have made, you you're free to make that comparison if you want, but I think that uh, reading the statements that Robin Scott and Marlene Kairouz have issued, uh, clears that matter up. Have you read what you've read in the age today and seen what you saw on 60 Minutes on, on Sunday night? How can you conclude that those ministers have acted appropriately or former ministers? But what, but what their resignations, Rachel, do is they have essentially, uh, they, have main, they maintain that they've done nothing wrong. They have resigned from the Cabinet and gone to the back bench. Uh, and it is now a matter for IBAC and Victoria Police to ultimately determine that. Do you maintain that they've done nothing wrong? I, I refer you to the statements that they have made. They've made a statement. They have uh, been very clear about the fact that they believe they've done nothing wrong. They've both resigned from the Cabinet. Uh, I support that decision. It's the right decision to take. And uh, the Victoria Police and IBAC, they will be the ultimate arbiters of whether uh, their contention that they've done the right thing is an accurate one or not. That won't be that, that, that will not be a position... That will not be a judgment that I make. Uh, again, I just refer you to the statements. They've made commitments to me. I sought those commitments. Uh, they, those have, they have, they have, they have, they have reiterated their positions. And if you want to know more about why they have that confidence or other thinking that might have uh, you know, been part of the decisions that they've made, then you've really got to speak to them. That's not a matter that I can speak to. What do you say to Victorians who now say, "Well, as leader, you weren't able to even know about these uh, claims or act on them sooner"? Three ministers have now gone. What do you say to Victorians who might be sceptical now about your ability to not only lead the party but lead the state? Oh, well, uh, I've got a job to do and we are all focused on getting on and getting things done and nothing will deter me from that. Are you confident that no other ministers are using taxpayer funding to, to further their own political interests? I am. Any what? Uh, again, there is a Victoria Police and IBAC process. It is broad and wide-ranging and I'm not going to cut across any work that they uh, may do, uh, and that involves, uh, I suppose, if you like, making statements that might limit the focus of their investigation. They, it will take them wherever it takes them, and that's the appropriate thing. Is that investigation I don't believe so. I don't believe so. That, that, I can't answer that question. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, if I, I was confident that they were dealing with the matter already, then I wouldn't have had the Attorney General refer it. So it's been referred... But as to what they were doing on any matter, I stress, I stress on any matter, uh, they're not in the habit of telling anyone often the work that they're doing. That's the nature of their work. Uh, I'm not going to speculate on the future because, again, that's something that, again, once we start getting into that sort of territory, then I'm essentially running a commentary on a very serious investigation and an investigation that should... Uh, run its course at arm's length from the government. So who's coming into Cabinet? Uh, I'll make some announcements about that later on, in, later on in the week. Despite the IBAC and Victoria Police investigation, you've sought assurances from both Marlene Kairos and Robin Scott that they did the right thing. Yes. Would you also seek similar assurances from the rest of your um, parliamentary team? Oh, because well, that's not, if, it, if it's cutting across IBAC and a Victoria Police investigation, um, you've asked Marlene and Robin. 
well, no, hang on a minute, Samaya. Let's, let's just go back to first principles here. There was a story on Sunday night. There were articles yesterday. I felt that it was appropriate to seek assurances from those two ministers. Most others may, may have a different view, but I thought it was appropriate given what was reported, given what was said in video and on other you know, phone calls and things of that nature, that it was appropriate to seek from them an assurance. They gave the assurance. They've issued a statement today, uh, yesterday and today, uh, that reconfirms essentially that uh, they believe they've done nothing wrong, but they have resigned, and I, I support that uh, decision. You announced yesterday that Danny Pearson was going to be like a government minister. Uh, there was yes. a bit of a glitch there, but is that still the case? Uh, I'll have more to say about portfolio allo allocations his, uh, later in the week. His wife is a local councillor. Is it appropriate for him to be like a government minister well, in those circumstances? Uh, again, I think that the minister would be able to manage uh, any and all uh, perceived conflicts across any portfolio. He's an outstanding member of our team. I'll have more to say about uh, ministerial vacancies and the reallocation of portfolios soon. Rich, I, I, know there's, yeah, I know there's significant interest in this. I'm not at a, at a point where I can make detailed announcements about that. I have been speaking with Anthony Albanese overnight and I'll have more to say about that soon. But there is a significant issue here that we need to deal with and we will. And that will involve the federal, exec, the federal, uh, the national executive, uh, being involved in delivering a restructure, uh, and then it will be for us here in Victoria to get on and make the reform that is very, very important. Well, again, it's probably best if I wait until I can give you a full and detailed. Uh, account of those matters. Uh, we're still talking about those things, but there's no one should underestimate my resolve to deal with these issues properly and to make sure that we make really significant reform. What did you make of Minister Marlene Kairouz? Sorry? What did you make of Minister Marlene Kairouz, or former Ministers Kairouz and Somurek meeting in their ministerial offices to um, discuss branch stacking operations? Well, what I'd say to you again is IBAC and Victoria Police will look at those matters. That may well be central to the work that they do, do and I'm just not going to run a commentary on that. Do you think it's appropriate, speaking in general terms, that two ministers just um, meet in their ministerial room? I don't think, I don't, again with respect, I don't think that it's appropriate um, to be straight after uh, talking about a very specific case to then answer a very general question which will be used as an answer to the very specific, which I think you understand I'm not in a position to go into that detail. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think any of us want a situation uh, where Victoria Police and IBAC are in any way inhibited by anything any of us say or do to get on and do their important work. That's why it's been referred to them uh, and they will do that work. Are you glad to see them three gone? Sorry? Are you glad to see those three ministers I support gone? the decisions that uh, uh, the two ministers who resigned made and I uh, am very firmly of the view that sacking Minister Somirek yesterday was exactly the right thing to do. For the people who, the very many people who don't observe these things as closely as this group does perhaps, doesn't, it, doesn't this just look like the government letting itself fall apart in the middle of a pandemic and an economic crisis? Oh, again, uh, how, how things look and the commentary people want to put on it, that's a matter for you guys. What I'm focused on is getting on and getting us through an unprecedented economic crisis with a plan for jobs and a big contribution to the national plan for jobs getting through the pandemic in terms of the health response and then making sure that we keep on building new hospitals and schools, continuing to build TAFE up to the best it's ever been, uh, investing in road and rail, uh, getting rid of dangerous and congested level crossings. It's a long list, it's a big program and we will deliver it, be in no doubt about that. Do you condemn and renounce any branch that you want? I've been very clear about this. The party rules are there and they should be followed, Simon. That's very, very clear. Fiona Patton said that um, the allegations about Adam Somirek came as, a, or the re revelations about Adam Somirek came as no surprise to her. Why was it seemingly such a surprise to every Labor MP? Well, again, I haven't seen those comments and I'm not in the habit of commenting on um, comments that I've not had an opportunity to uh, review. I said to you yesterday, and I'll say it again, no one can watch that program on Sunday night and not be shocked. And just back to Rich's line of questioning, have you asked Steve Brax to get involved? Um, I'm sure that was your question, Simon. Oh, well, yeah, were you, were talking you talking afraid I wouldn't answer it if it was from <laughs> if it was from you? He was, he was asking about I'm certain that you asked it. Yeah, okay. Just right to, right. He was asking about. I've got no. I've, from, from I've got. I've got. I've got no comment to make on that. Thank you very much. <laughs>